Yeah, there is the first movement. First movement, it's to take his balance. You need to create something in the way you move your sword that allow you not just to do this, but that all his body move a little bit. It's a fraction second. When you do that, everything is down. It goes one, two, three, and this is Gekito, and Gekito. Well, watch well again. One, here, one, two, three, and four. This is, en this is Gyokoyo and Gekito, it's a Chuden Waza. I think. So yes, the last technique of the Shoden. Actually, it's the technique that makes the, the gate, the bridge between Shoden and Shuden. That's why it's half Shoden and half, sh and half Shuden. Anyway, what I would just wanted to say is this technique, if you just do that, or this, huh? and you think you made it, wrong. If you do just ski like this, you need to feel so something. Here, it's a very important technique. I did this one, as you can see. I move 45 degrees in. Now, when he attack, I move 45 degrees from this side, backward. And look, I'm direct Segan Okamae. That's why from here, Arukiyashi, Pam Segan Okamae, get down. Huh? Uh, see? And why I make this practice on ski? because it's more difficult. From here, you will think you can do it. It's very difficult. From ski, if you can be, if you can do the technique from ski, good. One, move this. If you do this, it's over, you keep on going, puff. That's why you need to move his weight. You need to move his weight here, tack, here. Ah, when you're here, you shift, and you have already say on. That's why you can get in. Hmm? So the first movement is very important. Huh? After when you understand, you use the weight of the body and you really sweep, you really move the sword out of the way. Palm and ski. 